All right, so here's what I have. We are letting the classes DC power supply stand in for a car battery. Right now it's reading about 12 volts, 12.02 volts. I have my circuit hooked up to a switch. Right now there's no current flowing because the switch is open. As soon as I close that switch, electricity is going to flow through the light bulb, be converted into thermal energy and visible light, and then down to ground. So when I flip the switch, now this light bulb is only rated for 6 volts. So if I have 12 volts go across it, what do you expect to see happen? Yeah, let's see if it does. Whew! That's bright. That's a really bright bulb. Almost blinding if one were to stare directly into it. But because it has twice the voltage across it than what it's rated for, it's not going to last. Wow, that was a good time. I didn't even cheat. And the light bulb burned down. In fact, if I were to take that out, hot, 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 hot. You can see, hopefully, that it's dark. All right, so how do I design this circuit so that that doesn't happen? Yeah. Why don't I use a variable resistor? Now this variable resistor allows me to adjust between zero and 35 ohms by turning this knob. Now essentially what it is, is just a giant coil of wire. Check it out. And since wire resists the flow of electricity, the more the electricity flows through more of the coil, the greater the resistance is. So I just turn the knob to adjust what my resistance would be. Now I'm going to take this and use my trusty multimeter, probably the most valuable thing in the zombie apocalypse, besides a gun, a water purifier, and other things. But a multimeter would allow you to really figure out a lot of things with electricity. I'm going to change the setting here to be measuring ohms or resistance. And then I'm going to plug it into my two terminals and adjust the resistance so that I can get six volts to drop across that bulb. Ready? So right now I need you to calculate what I should set this resistance at so that the voltage drop across the bulb is six volts. So here it is. What do we set that variable resistor at in order to get that six volt drop across the light bulb that we need? Let's draw a circuit. 12 volts. It's going to pass through the light bulb. And then I'm going to hook up my variable resistor in series with it in order to have the full voltage drop of the circuit occur. Now, if I have 12 volts total and six volts through the light bulb, obviously, what do I need the voltage drop to be across the resistor? Yeah, that's right, nice job. This needs to be six volt. What you just did without realizing it was you applied Kirchhoff's loop rule that says the sum of the volts around that loop is gonna be equal to zero. Yeah, that's what you did. Now, if that voltage drop is six, what current has to pass through this circuit? Well, the light bulb is rated at three watts. So it is possible to find what the current should be if six volt drop is, is six volt drops across that bulb. And I can do that using P equals IV, so that the power, 3 watts divided by the voltage drop, 6, is going to have a current of 0.5 amps. So if I want a current of 0.5 amps to flow through this circuit, I'm also therefore going to have the 0.5 amps flow through this variable resistor. Now what resistance are would force that to happen. Well, if I use Ohm's law, V equals IR, and I solve it up for R, I'm going to have my 6 volts divided by 0.5 amps 
is going to give me dun, 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 12 ohms. Good. Yeah? You think you got that? So I'm going to have a 12, I'm going to set my variable resistor to 12 ohms in order to get a 6 volt drop with the proper current through it. Check, check. Did you get it right? What did you get? You got 12? Excellent. Good. Let's see if I can set this to 12 volts. Now, it's a little finicky. It's not the most precise device ever made, but it's going to do the job. Oh, that's at exactly 12 volts. So I'm going to take my multimeter away. And I'm going to hook up my light in series with this variable resistor. One wire connects here. The current's going to travel through the variable resistor. When it does that, through the 12 volt resistor, when it does that, it's going to have some of the voltage drop across it. If we did our calculations right, the potential difference across the light bulb should now be 6 volts. Are you ready? And here we go. Oh, what happened? Yeah, I was just messing with you. I know, it needs a light bulb. So I'm going to take a new light bulb. How many physics teachers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just one. Come on, guys. Let me flip that switch. And what we should see, the bulb will definitely be dimmer than it was before, but it also isn't going to burn out in five seconds. And... Now, I have a light bulb running at 6 volts using a 12-volt power supply. I have designed a circuit that will work in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, that's it. I think that's the whole thing. you think there'd be more to it, yeah, but there's not. If you can figure out how to hook up the circuit with a variable resistor, you can figure out anything. Because then you really do understand electricity. Switch. Open. That's it.